guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today we are gonna get into a room of my place that we have not been in in a while. We've not all been together in this space. This is my bathroom. If you guys remember, it was like two years ago, I did a quick little walkthrough. We had just moved in, and I showed you how I had organized initially, and how I had decorated in here. And it was good for a while, but I kind of wanted to do something different in here. So I'm gonna take you guys through and show you the ways that the organization may have changed. A lot of it has stayed the same, but I'll kind of give those of you that are new, because we have grown quite a bit since I did that video a while ago. So I'll give you some of the insight to how I organize my stuff. Then I'm gonna take you and show you how I decorate it, and then I will kind of show you along the way some of my favorite products that I have been using that I usually store in the bathroom. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you love a clean bathroom. And if you guys haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Join the Live Your Style fam, and let's get started. Okay, so this whole bathroom organizing thing kind of happens in two different parts. The first, you organize, and that's your first priority. You wanna make sure that you have enough space for all your stuff, that it makes sense, that it's easy to get to, and then it's organized in a really practical way because that's gonna be the day-to-day -day stuff that'll be frustrating if you don't figure that out first. The second part is all the fun stuff in decorating and making it look really pretty, which is equally as important, but it's not the primary focus. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's true. But it's true. So the first thing you guys need to do, and I say this in a lot of my organizing videos, say it with me. Wipe down your surfaces. You wanna clean out the surface of the container that you are organizing. So if that's a shelf, if it's a drawer, clean it out, wipe it down, make it look pretty. Then you can categorize and organize depending on what you have. You wanna make sure you keep all your nail stuff together, all your hair stuff together, and try to make it simple so you can go to one spot, get what you need, and get ready. So to make this really valuable for you guys, I'm going to address the specific areas and like storage options that I have in my bathroom because I think that's something we can all relate on. A really common bathroom storage situation is a deep drawer that pulls out. So if you guys can see here, this guy is super deep. I have two drawers and if not organized properly, it becomes very chaotic very quickly. Well, how do you organize it properly? You might be asking, let me show you. In really big deep drawers, you need to get smaller other plastic containers to fill inside the big deep drawer or else everything's gonna fall into each other and just become a big jumbled mess like your purse. You know, women out there, you guys catch my drift. In my drawers here, I couldn't fit three containers side by side. I could only fit two, but that was actually totally fine because it actually allowed for a little space on the right hand side that would fit my hairbrushes and all of my hairsprays and things I use often. The leftover space kind of created its own little container even though I can't fit a container in it, if that makes sense. Next to that, I have all of my hot tools. I wanted to make sure the three things I use all the time, my curling iron, my straight iron, and my hair dryer are easy to get to and clearly defined. And then next to that, I have a kind of a catch-all for any travel size bottles of hair products, face products, lotions, things that are extras. Now, another big key to remember, when you have deep drawers, you don't wanna use lids. That's gonna create another layer between you and your product. It's better if everything's just easily visible right when you open your drawer. And then the back drawer, specifically, I put things that I don't need access to all the time. So I put things like our toiletry bags that we use when we travel. We travel often, but not that often, so put those in the back. They're easy to find and easy to get to, but they're not a necessity. Now down below, this is the fun drawer. <laughs> all of my nails. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm a fan of the press on nails. I've been wearing them for about three, almost three years now consecutively. Like that's a really big commitment. And they work for me, they stay on really well. I can quickly update them if one does fall off and I have a lot of backup in the event that I need a new nail, which is kind of the smart thing to do in my opinion. If you guys want to get a full tutorial on the best way and uh, practices for putting on the press on nails to make them work really well, if you go to my Instagram, at Shara Stevens, you guys can go to my highlights. I have a nails dedicated highlight button and you can watch a bunch of videos all about it. I also have a nice collection of eyelashes, any of my extra beauty blender sponges. I have a whole bag dedicated to band-aids because you never know. And I also have a bag that's dedicated to dental things. So toothpicks and floss and extra toothpaste. 
I also have a variety of favorites that I'm gonna show you really quickly, one of which, my tanner. The most amazing tanner ever, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's a two hour express called Loving Tan. I will link it below for you guys. It's leaking currently, that's gross. But it works really well. Most tanners, if you use a self tanner, they either don't work very well, or if they do work, you have to have them on for like seven hours, and then that's kind of annoying. This, I can put it on in the morning, rinse off before I leave for the day, or start my day, and my tan starts to develop and it doesn't get streaky. It has a nice little mitt that it comes with that I'll show you over there. Highly recommend. I will link it below, because it's great. Okay, the next typical organization space in a bathroom is a cabinet. Something that you have a lot of shelves in that opens on the front side and gives you some really great storage options. Now if you guys are not like me and you do not have a lot of storage already built into the bathroom, I recommend doing something like open shelving or trying to find little storage spaces that you can put over the toilet or things like that. That'll give you some shelving and some options there. Now if you guys are really OGs on this channel and you guys have been following along for a long time, if you go way back onto my channel, maybe I'll even link this video below, I did a bathroom series from my last studio apartment before I got married, which was like three years ago. I had no shelving, I had no cabinetry. I got pretty creative with bins and boxes and even trays and putting those on the wall and making it functional. So I'll link that video if you guys wanna check it out. When you have a cabinet and you want to maximize the space, you want to focus on getting things that pull out of the space or things that rotate in the space. So I actually have a Lazy Susan spinny thingy that I put a lot of my bottles of product in for my hair or lotions or contacts. And also this cabinet is really dedicated to my makeup. I have a full tray that I can pull out that has all my makeup stored and organized really nicely. Underneath of that tray is a pull-out tray that has other products. Rather than putting a bunch of bottles and a bunch of product lined up one in front of the other, all the way to the back of the cabinet, I would never know what was in the back. It'd be not a very efficient way to organize. I wanted to mix it up in putting things in those trays. On the sides of those trays though, I usually have like an aisle way, and I'll either put some of extra bottles of things I don't use that often, but I need, or things like washcloths, lotion, and maybe even a neti pot. You don't know about a neti pot? This is a neti pot. Oh, that's that gross thing you put up your nose. I can't ever do that. So I put all my makeup brushes in this clear container. Sometimes when I put them in a cup and they're out and exposed to the air, I feel like dust gets on them and they just, I don't know. This is like a cleaner way to store them. I told you guys as I'm going through this, I wanted to show you things that I am like products that I really love. One of these products is this Marrakesh oil. Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Hair Styling Elixir. I just love it. Triple sec, it's like a, um, gives you volume when you wear my hair curly. I put this in it and it kind of amplifies. And then the dry shampoo, it's really good. And down here I'm playing with this little Lazy Susan. It's very convenient. Moving on to other favorite products. I told you guys about this before and often on Instagram. This little guy is a deodorant removing sponge. You know, sometimes you put your bra or shirt or whatever on and it happens to get some deodorant on it. This takes it right off and you do not have to panic, especially if you're wearing black. It's funny, I'm wearing a sweater that has a ton of pills on it, but they're intentional. So I wouldn't want to use this on it. But if you have a sweater or pants or something that like get a bunch of built up pilling, you can use this to remove the excess buildup of fabric that starts to pill on your clothing. It's called the sweater saver for a reason, okay? In this cabinet below the makeup level, I also store all of my toilet paper and I store a lot of our towels. This, however, is a Posh Peel Pedicure Foot Exfoliating and Resurfacing Peel treatment. So if you have a lot of calluses or you just have like dry feet and you need to rejuvenate your feet, this thing is really, really cool. And this is a really good gift. I was gonna give this to my mom for Mother's Day. Also, I store all of my bars of soap down in the very bottom of this thing. Volcano, you know the candle, Capri Blue, they made a bar of soap. Just good to buy and have in your bathroom because it smells so good. Question of the day, what's your favorite spring candle scent? One of my favorite new beauty trends that I'm loving right now are my magnetic eyelashes. I have them on, that's why they're not in here. I can put them on in like a minute or less. They look real. You can wash them and reuse them. Like I've worn these like 20 times. So get the accent lash. I'll link the specific style beauty number and you guys can find those online. Does everyone know about poopery? 
quick tip. I found a contraption that attaches to the toilet and by the wave of a hand, it will spray the inside of your toilet bowl with poopery automatically. It's like the most genius product ever. And last but not least, the last thing I store in the bottom of this cabinet is this scary looking thing. You can shove it down your drain if you have a clog and somehow it miraculously gets everything out. So if you've got a problem, I'll link these. I think it came with a set of three. So if you have multiple bathrooms, you can put one on each. Because you use the things that are in your medicine cabinet all the time, you wanna put common items on the inside of this thing. I would open it, but I'm gonna hit myself in the face, so I'm gonna wait. A really great trick when it comes to making sure that you're maximizing the space in your medicine cabinet is getting little cups, plastic containers, that you can kind of itemize and separate things that are small. So like your tweezers and kind of sectioning off that in that area. If I need it, I can pull the whole tray out. If not, I leave it in there. Makes things nice and simple. And if you guys really want to get fancy like I did, I use a magnetic knife strip that I found at Ikea, put it in the back of my medicine cabinet, and I put all my bobby pins on it. It's a great way to organize those small, little teeny tiny clips that will often get lost but not if you keep them on a magnet strip and it's kind of fun to put them away, so that's a good incentive. Okay, one thing I want to point out that I keep stored in here, this I just got from a friend as a gift. I do care, but it's a silicone brush that you can put your face mask on. That way you don't, I don't know, I've always like had messy face masks when I do them with my hands, but now it's like, it's like an art piece, it's really fun. Okay, so now for the second more fun phase of this process, the decorating part. Now, if you guys are in the same bathroom, for the most part, the organizing is gonna stay the same year to year, like the way that you use it functionally. Make sure you clean it though, because it can get messy. The next part that you can switch in and out is gonna be the decorating. You can make it feel different by adding different elements. What kind of elements? Well, if you noticed behind me, I used to have a nice big piece of art that said make today amazing, it was very cute but I wanted to get something a little bit more three-dimensional. So I DIY'd myself a little shelf. Roll the tape. adding something new to your walls is gonna make the space feel different. Also, adding a new shower curtain is gonna make it feel different. But one thing I do wanna point out with the shower curtain, I put my shower curtains all the way to the ceiling because it, in a small bathroom, it makes the room go up. It makes it feel bigger. Look at this picture of our bathroom before we moved in. The shower curtain was super low and you can kind of see that the room just felt stunted. We do have some pretty decent sized ceilings in here, so we wanted to maximize that. Now, when you put your shower curtain that high up, oftentimes your shower curtain is gonna be like this far off the ground, which is not cute. So I recommend you guys find shower curtains that have an easy to mimic pattern, meaning they're really uh, easy stripes that you can then extend the shower curtain by buying a second one and you can either sew it on or use my little trick that I will put link to the video below, iron on adhesive to extend the shower curtain. Now I know what you're thinking, what do I do with the inside liner? Well, I got you girl. Click the link below because I have extra long liner shower curtains linked for you guys to buy if you are interested. Other ways that you guys can update your bathrooms is by updating your little fixture things. I got this really pretty like kind of sea glass, blue clear sea glass soap dispenser that um, I think just kind of brightened up the space, gave it a little beachy vibes. And also new towels, if not full body size towels, update your hand towels. I love these, it has like a very subtle chevron pattern that's grayish taupe on the underside of it and a white on the top. And it's just, it matches my shower curtain really well and looks real nice. And then of course over here, I accessorized my shelves by using some of these matte pottery little vases. Put some greens in it, cause what is a bathroom without greens? Hello, we're going for the spa vibes in here. And my cute little perfume bottle. I wanted to use things up in here that I'm gonna maybe be using constantly, but I wanted to make sure that I prioritize the look, not necessarily the function. If I needed extra space 
and I only had open shelving, I would recommend that you guys get boxes that are enclosed, kind of like what I do in my office. That way it still looks really nice and it doesn't just look so crazy chaotic because if everything is out on shelves that you can see, your bathroom's always gonna feel messy. And look how cute these brackets are. I know I kind of said that earlier, but I found these on Etsy, so I'm gonna link them below. It's a unique take on these little things. And as you saw in that video, I stained this and it was quite the process, but maybe on Instagram, I'll put a little tutorial on how I did it so you guys can see. But if you guys wanna see something right now, I did a video previously in our kitchen where we have open floating shelves, different brackets, but the same concept of staining the wood. You guys can watch that video. I'll link it below and check out just the general process of how to stain and do a little open shelving DIY project. As you know, that big art piece I used to have up here, well, I didn't get rid of it because it was so nice and cozy and clean and inspiring. I put it right behind you. Not you, but you know, the camera you. It's on my wall as I walk out of the bathroom now so I can have a nice inspirational message as I walk out of the bathroom of making the day amazing. And I think it fits the space great. today. I hope you loved this video and that you guys are inspired to go and decorate and organize your bathrooms and that you have fun with it because if you're like me, organizing is a good time. I hope that you guys have a great week and thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't. Don't forget to leave a comment for question of the day below. What's your favorite spring candle scent? And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.